WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday the 13th of May. We're looking at the Dow up 451 at this 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at 32,184 up 1.43%. The S&P is trading up uh, 86 at up 2.19% at 4,016. The QQQ NDX 100 got a real big boost today. It's up 3.10%, up 9 at 300.23. The IWM Russell 2000 is up 2.78%, 2 up 4, 7, 480 at 177.30. This is all very good action. This is one of the first days. Thus far, the day is young, but this is one of the first times we haven't seen all week where we've just flipped from a big move up to a big move down to a big move up and then another move down, then close more at the lows than at the highs, certainly much more at the lows than the highs. The day is young, but I believe that this is the first time with the VIX dropping so sharply uh, down uh, 217 at 29.60, that there's a chance we can close on a Friday at least decently so we don't have this horrible sell-off on a Sunday night into Monday, which was one scenario that I said was a possibility. This is this is another. What we're looking at now within the gold context, the gold is down sharply, is down um, now it's down nine, it was down way more earlier on at eighty eight fourteen. And because of that, we have to consider the dollar's round number high of one oh five point zero zero hmm, with a doji potential doji candle. Maybe the dollar does pull back a little bit. But yeah, give give gold a little bit of a relief rally. I didn't do anything in my show the Tiger Technicians Hour with bonds because I have to see how we come into the close today and then that weekly chart with the left side, right side price time match uh, going down to the low that actually took out the left side low of 133.19 a while back. But in time, it's done the same amount of um, bars, weekly bars to the right. This is where the yields should start to pull back. We'll see what happens. And if you're looking at Crude oil, crude oil is up quite sharply today, up 3.94, very strong actually at 110.07. This should be putting pressure on the market, but so far it hasn't. So I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. Larry's got his workshop coming up on Tuesday. He'll probably talk about it in his show coming up. The um, uh, trade, what you see, it should be a fantastic. Go to the front page of TFN. I mean, this is a this is a this is a perfect time for a, a Larry Pesavento type workshop with his knowledge and his experience and his great acumen. I recommend it. And now let's hand you over to Larry. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. And uh, see you on Monday. Basil Chapman signing.